Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for those of you who are new here and you don't know who I am, my name is Emma Godson. I'm a stylist, creative director, and I'm also an influencer and a blogger over at amagodson.com. Now, I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you guys are all staying very, very safe at home. It is a bit of an uncertain time at the moment, so hopefully this video will be a little bit of an escapism 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 for you and you can kind of just take your mind off of the world and all the things that are going on at the moment and um, but I hope you are doing your part and staying home and just staying safe and um, so today's video is going to be about spring summer outfits in monochrome colors so when I say monochrome I'm talking blacks and whites and um, I feel like blacks and whites can sometimes be seen as boring colors and they're never really looked at as like exciting or oh, I really really love that or I can make a great outfit from it so today I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can style up some outfits for the spring summer season using linens really really light fabrics in black and white so without rambling on any further and me actually trying to keep my balance <laughs> let's get into this video okay so this is look number one I have been the girl who has always worn linen pieces. Since I was a young girl, my mum used to sew clothes for loads of the high street designers and some of the high street, high end designers as well. So your Burberry's, your Valentino's. So she used to like make me clothes all the time and she always used to make me linen pieces. So I've always been wearing linen outfits. So linen trousers, linen shorts, linen shirts. And they were always just such a sleek, cool fabric to wear in the spring summer time so today i'm bringing you a linen blazer it's a little bit thicker and um, it's not as thin and airy as i'm used to but it still has that spring summer vibe and it still has a nice fit and a cut to it now i've styled this look up with a cute little bandeau and i've popped on some really loose fitted elasticated waist at the back trousers now I pulled these up into shorts so they can easily be like a rugged kind of ruffled gather together kind of stylistic pair of shorts. Now, like I said, you don't always have to have trousers and wear them just as trousers. You can wear them as shorts. So that's what I've done. I've pulled them up. I've popped, popped an, elastic, an elasticated band or a hairband or whatever you've got on my actual leg to keep the trousers up. And it gives it like a nice little ruffle on the legs. And then it just gives you like a nice, cool, boyish, relaxed vibe. So this is what I've styled this look with. I love this blazer. Now this is an integrated ad with um, ASOS. They've kindly given me a few pieces and I've just gone on there and selected some of the pieces that I know will last in my wardrobe for a long, long time. And this blazer is something you can style up so many different ways. I love the contrast black buttons. I actually picked this up two sizes bigger than what I would usually. So I'm usually a size eight. I picked this up in a size 12, simply because I just wanted it to have that biggish, boyish, kind of relaxed look. And with the spring summer, I don't really like wearing things that are a bit too tight and fitted. I like the breeze to kind of take over my body. So that's why I went for a little bit of a bigger size. Now. I've popped on some pointy strappy shoes just to kind of give the look a little bit more of a smarter stylish look. You can easily pop on some strappy stiletto sandals or if you wanted to keep it really, really casual, you can pop on some flip flops. A nice little black bag, some nice little black glasses and this is a look that you can wear on a regular basis. Very casual, very chic, but it still says that I'm put together, I'm still a little bit stylish and I know what I'm doing. So this look, oh, is a winner for me. I absolutely love it and it's just super comfortable as well. Okay, so this vibe is I would say a little bit more of a trendy vibe. So if you guys have been browsing Instagram, you would have seen these tops floating all over the gram. They've got the little, um, they're like a tank top, but they've got the nice little um, open side or really, really low cut loop armholes. And they've got the big exaggerated shoulder pads on them as well. Now, this kind of top is super essential for a nice little capsule wardrobe that gives you a little bit of an edge. I, of course, in Emma Godson style, have put on this top and have got makeup all over the neck because that's what happens every single time I wear a white top. How annoying. If you're that kind of person and you always put on a white top and then you just get makeup over it, 
how annoying let me know in the comment section below we we here girl we here um normally i actually put like something over my face and i put the top on and then it just doesn't transfer to the top but for the sake of the video i was trying to be efficient and get it on quickly and here we are anyway i digress this top um is another look that is a monochrome kind of vibe but i've also added just a pop of print in this look now like i said this is a tank top that is pretty much like a trendy kind of top at the moment it is a very simple basic top but it's got the nice exaggerated shoulder pads which gives you a little bit more of a stylish edgy look it's not just a plain basic it's actually got a little bit more of a, a little vibe about it which I absolutely love. It's super, super comfortable. They are all over the market at the moment. Zara are doing them, H&M are doing them, the Frankie Shop are doing them, Nasty Girl are doing them. And there's like high end, low end. So it depends on where you wanna go. If you wanna spend a little bit more, I would say go for the Frankie Shop. If you just kinda wanna just get some basics, you don't really care about how much you're spending, something like Nasty Girl or H&M will do the trick and it will give you the same look. So this is Oh, a top that you I literally bought in why I've got it in black and I've got various colors of all of them as well now I've obviously kept on the trousers as you can probably see in the screen I've kept on the same trousers as I was wearing in the first look but I've actually just taken off the elastic bands and made them into trousers and then I've popped on a nice little not little I'd say oversized waist belt now I'm not really one for waist belts I don't really like to do too much because I feel like sometimes it just feels a little bit pretentious when you've got too many accessories on but I just felt like because this look is very monochrome, it is very simple, it isn't got much to it, popping on a print or just a pop of colour always elevates the look a little bit more and gives you a little bit more of a put together vibe. So I've popped on this belt, I picked up from Zara last season I believe, it is a little, it's like a suede, it's almost like a pony hair kind of vibe, it's an oversized belt and it just cinches you in, you guys know I love a little cinching so it cinches you in in the waist really really nicely and i've obviously made sure that the trousers are tucked in nicely underneath there as well i've popped on some really really open toe strappy sandals now again because this look is kind of covered you know you've covered your your decollete nothing's really out on display here you've got long trousers on i would always recommend to have an open toe shoe so you have a nice little balance if you have a covered shoe sometimes your look is a little bit too covered up and it can come across a little granny so you do want to kind of get the balance right so if you are covered up head to toe you've got trousers on you've got something that's not showing your chest there or any cleavage then i would always say pop on a strappy sandal just to give you a nice young chic hip look so this is another vibe that easily can be worn on a casual vibe if you're going out for drinks dinner date um out with the girls it is such a versatile look you can easily dress it up with your hair so if you've got really nice bouncy curls or you've got really really sleek hair and you can literally put up your hair in a nice little bun and it gives you a whole another vibe so this kind of look it can be dressed up for so many different places and i would 100 percent recommend so you guys can probably see all the makeup on it now oh the stress um you guys could record you could probably sorry what was i saying you guys could probably um get this kind of top and wear it to loads of different places so if all of the outfits and all of the links of what I'm wearing, as well as alternatives for higher ends and lower ends, will be in the description box for you anyway. So this is another look that you guys can incorporate into your wardrobe for the spring summer when we finally get let out of the house. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the description box below. So we have the black version. Now this black version is pretty much the same as the white top. I've kept on the same trousers and I've popped on a different kind of belt. Now this belt I picked up from a store called Massimo Duty. It's a little bit more of a higher end store than Zara. Same group, but it is a little bit more of a store for a lady who likes a little bit more demure pieces or someone who's a little bit older on in age. Now I love it just because it gives you a little bit more of an elegant classy vibe and I love the print. It's not too overpowering but it does add a pop to the outfit. Now again in terms of the kind of way I've styled it, I've still popped on some strappy sandal and that's simply because 
you just want to make sure you're giving the right balance guys remember if you're covered up from top to bottom from head to toe you want to make sure there is a little bit more on display so your your outfit has a nice little balance so if you have cut so if you have covered up your decollete and you have um, covered up your trousers and everything is literally tucked away, then you want to add or introduce maybe like a strappy sandal just so that the look is a little bit more well-rounded. Um, so I have, of course, styled up the look pretty similarly. But again, I am that person that purchases outfits or purchases items that will stretch across loads and loads of different outfits. You wanna make sure when you're buying items like these trousers and like these tops, that you can style them up so many different ways and it gives you so much variety in your wardrobe. Not that you can wear one, I um, one item and only wear it that one way. This, I can wear with skirts, I can wear it with shorts, I can pop on some jeans with this top, I can, do loads of stuff basically. And the same with the trousers. I can easily pop on a bandeau with this, I can pop on a shirt with this, I can pop on a t-shirt with this. And that's the way you wanna start actually purchasing your clothes. You don't wanna just be buying items cause they're nice and cause they look great on the mannequin in the shop. But then when you get them home, you only start them up once. So this is why I love looks like this. They're very simple, very casual, but can easily be dressed up or dressed down. So this is another look ladies. And gentlemen if you're watching um, it is very simple but again very very effective I've popped on some really really dark shades and I have popped on a really really small clutch bag as well just to kind of keep the whole look nice and muted and black and of course it is very chic when you wear black and very slimming you look very snatched so listen every girl needs a, a black outfit basically and this is mine I absolutely love it so another look, of course, shoulder pads, because Emma loves a shoulder pad in my blazers, in my t-shirts, in my dresses. I love shoulder pads. They work so, so well in giving you guys a structured look and just giving you like a polished, put together vibe without trying too hard. Now this dress is a winner, an absolute winner. It is a sleeveless dress, so it's got your, your armpits out so you get a little breeze. And it is a little bit low cut, so it's a dress that is a little bit tuxedo vibes and of course it is a short dress now i love dresses like this if you are on your way to work or you are in the sun in the summertime you want to keep it you want to be a little bit smart you're going to a meeting or you're going out for i don't know some kind of work event and you want to keep it casual you still want to stay nice and cool because the breeze is needed and the heat is real you obviously can wear something very similar to this. It is perfect for the office. Of course, it is a little bit low cut, so you can easily just pop a little safety pin here, and then it will just cover you up a little bit more. But if you are a little bit daring and you want to have a little bit more out, and you don't want to wear it to work, or you want to wear it on a, I don't know, out with the girls, out for drinks, whatever the case is, then you can have it a little bit lower cut but this dress is oh, just such a winner of course we're still sticking to the black and white theme so it's got the nice black lapels here and then it's white all over the dress it's got some nice shoulder pads here so again it gives you that structured look from all angles and i just love the way it feels it's so loose i think i picked this up in a size 10 and that's purposely because I didn't want it to feel like it was tight. I wanted that extra loose feeling and I wanted it to feel a little bit oversized. You can go for your size if you like, but I always recommend for dresses like this, they are almost like, they, they are almost like shift dresses. So yes, they are a tuxedo vibe, but it's almost like a shift dress. So you want it to be a little bit oversized and it just, it just drops and hangs a little bit better. So if I can get my words out today, I feel like I'm like, <laughs> Oh, anyway, this dress is an absolute winner. It's got covered buttons, so all of the buttons are white and they're covered in the same fabric. I believe this is almost like a, it is a high street shop. I bought this online um, and I found that it looks very, very high end. It can easily be classed as a designer, but it's not. It's a high street shop, nasty girl. And I popped, and it's got some really, really nice buttons on them. So they're all covered and it's all uniform. If it did have buttons that were like black, then it would automatically make it look quite cheap. But the fact that it is quite monochrome, you can't see the button details, just elevates it a little bit more. 
and it's a bargain perfect for work perfect for a smart summer look that you just want to kind of look put together and you don't want to look and you just want to look put together basically let me not ramble on about that you want to look put together i have styled up this look with some mules now mules are perfect for any season especially spring summer you still want it to be smart you still want to obviously go to work looking like you are about your business mules are perfect they give you a nice little point on the front but then you still got that breeze at the back of your heel you can slip your foot out whenever you want to and put your foot back in and it just kind of gives you a very summer vibe and still a very smart vibe now you can easily pop these with some flats some flip-flops some not flip-flop as in Havanas, but flip flops is in like some really cute sandals with some black diamonds on it, or just a really plain casual Hermes slipper, something like that. It will just give you a nice put together look, which is still very casual. So you've got two options: you can do the mules or you can do the flip flops, whichever works. You can even pop on a strappy sandal with this. So a high stiletto strappy sandal, Jambito Rossi, even if you wanna go for the Aldo ones that I've got, or the Stuart Weitzman's, whichever ones, pop them on with these. Very, very simple, very, very elegant outfit. Not too much going on. You wanna keep everything very simple and let the dress speak for itself. So, I love this. I feel so good the only thing i hate about dresses like this is when you stand to the side and you've got side boob i don't love side boob you know i don't think it's sexy i think this is better than side boob side boob not my kind of vibe that's the only thing about it but you can easily just pop some tip tape and then you're good to go i love it i absolutely love this dress it's a winner monochrome very breezy and I've seen this probably two days ago and it stayed for the sake of this video. It hasn't creased up. It hasn't like got all like funny when I've kind of been handling it left, right and centre. It is a good fabric for the price. So ladies, I'm putting you on. <laughs> and this is a vibe for the spring summer season. Don't miss out. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys what a surprise Amma has got a shirt dress in this video I love shirt dresses I live in shirt dresses they just give you a smart casual vibe they're very easy you throw one on and you look put together straight away I love this dress now I love it and I hate it actually let me not tell a lie I love and I hate it I love it because I love the fact that it comes down really nicely here it gives me Jacquemus vibes for half the price and I love the little wrap detail here I don't love the fact that it is super long now I usually love myself a midi dress I usually love a dress that kind of goes past your knees a little bit it just gives you a little bit more of an elegant elegant vibe but this I feel like would look so much better if it was shorter it would look so much cuter so much nicer so much put together um, and it, I think I might just cut it that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm either going to, yeah, I think I'm going to cut it. I do love the dress. I love the shape of it. And the thing is, I literally steamed this dress like there's no tomorrow. And it has stayed very, very straight and sharp. And I absolutely love everything about it other than the length. So I'm going to give it a little and then I will see how it goes. You guys will probably see it on the Instagram. Or I'll let you know in another video how it went. It is obviously high street. If it was a high-end designer, I would not be snipping anything. But because I did, I paid under £50 for the dress. And it gives me a nice little designer vibe. And it's perfect for the spring-summer season. I am... Sorry. I am going to turn it into something that's a little bit more my kind of vibe for this style. In terms of the way I've styled the dress, I've popped on some black strappy sandals with a gold buckle, just so I've got a little bit more of a stylish element to the look, and just to add a little bit more colour into the look. And then I've popped on a black simple bag with a gold little buckle on it as well. Again, we are keeping all of these looks monochrome, so everything in here is black and white, so I've popped on some black glasses as well, just to complete the look, and I absolutely love it. These sleeves though, however, I forgot to mention, are super short i have long arms i've always had long arms i've always had long legs and sleeves like this are slightly disheartening so i always just pull them up as three quarters 
but not every day three quarter. Sometimes you wanna have a long sleeve shirt or shirt dress that actually is long sleeve. So brands, are you hearing us? Long sleeve, we want the actual dress to be long sleeve. If they are longer, then the people who have shorter arms can roll them up and they can still have long sleeve. We on the other hand who have long arms and we can't roll up or we can't actually have long sleeves, it's a problem. Guys, let's fix it. So I have just basically pulled it up, so I've given it a little bit of a three quarter vibe. And this ruching going through the dress anyway kind of lends to the fact that I've ruched it up on my sleeves anyway, so that's fine. Um, I like the fabric, it feels very linen-y, but it's not linen, it's actually a cotton dress, but it feels very linen linen-y, I don't know if that's a word, but it feels very much like linen. Um, I love the shape of it, it's actually elasticated around the back. So as much as it feels like it's supposed, it looks like it's wrapped all the way around, it's not. It's got an elasticated section at the back here. You step into the dress and then you just wrap the top section around you. Very simple, very easy to get into. And I feel like my hair is just moving crazy today. Apologies guys. Anyhow, so this is a dress always on my to-do, always on my list, always on my want list. Shirt dresses are amazing. I love it. A few issues with the sleeves and the length, proportion wise, is a bit off, but we can fix that. Emma Godson can fix that, or mother, my mother will fix that. <laughs> How about that? Okay guys, a t-shirt dress. What a surprise. <laughs> the only thing is, these shoulder pads, they are a little bit fiddly, so sometimes they don't just stay in place. They actually do move around a little bit, which is a bit annoying. If you want it to still keep that structured look, you might have to move it around a little bit. But anyhow, nonetheless, it's still an amazing, simple, very chic t-shirt dress. Now these are the kind of dresses that you wear on your everyday errands. You're just walking out, you know, you're going to your high street shop or you're going to your supermarket shopping, throw on a t-shirt dress, it's nice and baggy. It's got the nice little, nice little, I'd say nice big armholes as well, so you've got the nice breeze going through you, very casual, super easy to style up. You can throw on some trainers with this, or you can throw on some strappy shoes like I have on this outfit. Very, very simple. Now again, these are floating around the market all over the place, high end, low end, mid tier, depends on what you and your pocket is saying, but you can achieve this look from loads of different brands at the moment. I absolutely love this kind of vibe. It's so simple, so easy, and you don't really need to think about styling. I always say, if you are gonna pop on a black dress, always kind of balance out the outfit with something a little bit more brighter if you are going for something daytime. So I've popped on a neutral pair of shoes that have got like a nice little strappy detail around the ankle. Pick these up from Zara, absolutely love them. They're just like a, a nice easy shoe that you can throw on, wrap around your ankle and it just gives you a nice elevated look. Such a winner, very, very comfortable too. I don't think they have them available, but they do have similar things like this on the market at the moment, high end and low end. I think Colt um, Gia, I think that's how you say it. Colt Gia, Colt Gaia, I'm not sure how you say the actual brand, but. There is a brand out there that do very similar shoes to this kind of style, and I will link down below that brand so you guys can shop them if you are interested in something like this. T-shirt dress, guys. Very, very simple, but very, very effective. If okay, so this is the last look, but oh, I absolutely love this dress. It is a little bit House on the Prairie vibes, but, oh, I feel a little bit like a milkmaid, actually. But I still love it. I love the ruffles on this dress. I love the little tiered section at the bottom. I love the cinched in waist. Of course I love the cinched in waist, Emma. Of course you do. And I love the high neckline. It's just such an elegant, smart dress. But yet the poplin cotton is so perfect for the season. It's long sleeve. I love a long sleeve because it just looks so much more elegant. And then on my skin colour, white is always a plus. So if you are dark skin, white on your skin is mm, 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 lovely. Now I've popped my hair back in a little side bun, in a low knot here, just because I wanted the attention to be on the dress. If I had hair coming down here, it would take away from the simplicity of the dress and it would almost be fighting for attention. So I always say, if you are wearing a dress that's a little bit higher on the neck, 
pop your hair back, slick it all the way back so you can just focus on the cuteness of this dress. Now again, I've not popped on any belts or anything like that. It doesn't need it. It has got this nice little cinched in waist here. It's got, oh, the tiered bottoms, the tiered hem here. Oh, it is just super, super beautiful. Now it kind of gives me Isabel Morant vibes. Now, it's not Isabel Morant, but I will take the fact that it looks like an Isabel Morant dress. Now, guys, I'm not really one for short dresses. Short dress? I'm not really one for short dresses, but this has definitely turned me into a short dress lover. I love this. Now, in terms of the way I've styled it, I've popped on some mules with a little bit of a heel, just because I wanted it to still feel very elegant still feel grown up because dresses like this can easily feel like you're a seven-year-old girl and you ain't trying to feel like a seven-year-old girl so when you pop on a little bit of a heel or a little bit of a pointy vibe it makes it a little bit more chic elegant and ladylike when you have flats on it can feel a little bit like hi mummy I and it can feel a little bit girly and a little bit too young so I popped on some pointy shoes I popped on a black clutch bag a little bit big just so it feels like I said a little bit more ladylike and a little bit more age appropriate now again it is black and white I've still kept to the monochrome vibe so I've popped on some really really square black glasses just to keep the look very chic and of course my hair is slicked back very nicely I will be rocking this dress all summer all spring and next year and the year after I'm going to be dry cleaning this dress like there's no tomorrow because I'm not trying to mess this up in the washing machine at all. I love it and I will be linking all of the details of this dress in the description box below. I love it. Let me know what you think down below. Oh, I can't stop looking at it. Guys, this dress is banging. Absolutely banging. Okay guys, so this is the last look. I am super excited to be rocking all of these outfits in the spring summer season coming up. All of them are monochrome, all of them are very age appropriate and they all give different vibes which I absolutely love. A lot of these pieces are under £100. There are a few designer pieces thrown in here but you can get most of the stuff for under £100. And again, they are pieces that will last in your wardrobe for a long, long time. And that is what you want to focus on. Pieces that you can wear this season, next season, and the year after. So I feel like I've achieved that today. Let me know in the comment section below which ones are your favourite and which ones you're not really feeling. I love them all, of course, because I've bought them and I've picked them. There are a few bits that I'm a bit like, mm. But overall... Black and white this summer is going to be Emma Godson all over. So thank you guys for watching. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Please do join the Emma Godson family. We do loads of videos like this. We do loads and loads of vlogs and all of that other stuff which is coming. Join the Emma Godson family. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell. And welcome to the family. I hope you guys are staying safe. And I hope you guys are staying well. And I cannot wait to leave my house and wear all of these outfits. I'm sure you guys are feeling the same way. So have a good day, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.